when you look at the starts of games, it's been kind of a topic of conversation the last few days here. What, you know, you've played a lot of football. What, what do you, what do you think's not happening for you guys at the start of these games? I don't have a great answer at, at this point. Uh, you know, I think it's the, it's going to be the topic of this bye week to really fix that. When I watch games, that's our biggest issue at this point is just not starting hot. Um, <laughs> luckily, we got um, some days off to figure that out. And, you know, I'm, you know, personally, I'm going, but going to go back through and watch the last five games and, and, and see what I can do personally. And then when we come back, I think the plan is, you know, really work on that as a whole offense on what we need to do um, as individuals and as a group to come out and start fast. You know, I, th I, I think that's the biggest issue at this point, which it's fix fixable, which is, um, you know, pretty good news, but um, it's, it's still something that needs to be to be fixed and, and, and needs to be fixed now. Um, looking at a positive aspect of, of the way the offense is going after the first three games, I think you guys gave up 15 sacks, but it seems to have calmed down the last couple of weeks. The pass protection seems to have improved a little bit. Any particular reason why, and like what's happening there that wasn't happening the first three games. My personal opinion, you know, we're, we're really starting to, um, communicate well, we're starting to flow together. Well, uh, we're starting to, you know, just work as a unit. Um, pass protecting in this league is hard. Um, it's even harder when um, not all five guys are on the exact same page. And we've been really, really working hard to do that in the pass game, the run game, and, you know, really just gel as a unit. And um, we all believe we have a really good unit. We all, all five, six, seven, eight guys that dress on game day, you know, strive to be the best unit in football. Um, and, you know, we're working hard at that every, every day, uh, and, and the practice and the drills we've been doing that coach has us doing and everything has just been getting us really ready for these games. And we feel, we're going in feeling really prepared, uh, that, and that's a huge part of pass protection to, to kind of have an idea of, of, of blitzes and have idea of their, you know, their favorites and, and what they like to do as a defensive unit. And, uh, and I, and I feel like, um, We've we've handled that well and and really got into to games as 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 a five and including the halfbacks and tight ends who do a lot of protecting in this offense um, have all the communication has gotten a lot better the um, the understanding of of where you need to be at what time has gotten better uh, and, and it's 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 a, it's a real pretty good feeling when you can you know you can look at the film and and, and see some pretty good pretty good protection and and. Uh, you know, you don't have to help Zach off the ground very much. It, it definitely feels pretty good. You know, doesn't feel as good as winning does, but uh, as a unit, you know, we're always striving to be better. And I mean, we had, we had two this last weekend and, and, and for us, that's too, too many. So. I don't know, how do you feel about where the run game is at right now? Uh, I know you guys aren't getting as many plays as you'd like in a game and that that's had some influence on that, but where do you feel like overall the run game is right now? <clears throat> You kind of hit it on the head, you know, what we were, we're not, I think the run game will come in when we start faster, you know, um, as an offense, we're not starting fast enough. And then we're getting, you know, behind, um, we're leaving our defense out there too long. Um, we're not playing complimentary football in the, in the, especially the first quarter. Um, I didn't even realize how few of plays we were running in the first quarter until, um, we talked about that today. So once we get on schedule and can stay on schedule, especially in the first half, first quarter, uh, I think the run game, you know, you'll see better um, production and, and more yards come from the run game. Uh, but I think that's directly related to coming out and coming out and starting a lot faster. Connor, what, what is uh, LaFleur's approach to this in terms of, does he welcome input from you guys like how does he handle that at this point is it like a collective effort at this point trying to kind of fix this thing yeah you know that's one thing this coaching staff's you know all hands on deck it's it's uh it's in their mind it's not going to be just them in our mind it's not going to be 
just them or us, you know, everybody here, coaches, players, everybody realizes that it takes all of us um, to win football games and, and to, to change this, this around, you know, I, 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 I have full confidence in this team and in these coaches to do that. I, you know, Sala is one of the best head coaches I've ever been around. Um, and Lafleur is, is, has been one of the best offensive coordinators. I, I really enjoy, you know, going into every week, I feel like we have a, such a great plan and that's, you know, really um, kudos to him and how they, and, and, and JB and how they prepare us uh, going into each game. Uh, we just, you know, need to, need to, as players execute a little better in the first half, whether that's, you know, calming down or if guys are too hyped or not hyped enough, or they're just, you know, you need to get a rhythm. Um, we just need to find our rhythm faster. And, um, you know, I think the players are looking at each themselves in the mirror on how everybody individually can uh, come out and do that, whether, you know, um, nobody's make wants to make drastic changes. It's not how this this stuff, it's just something small. And we just have to figure that out uh, individually and as a unit on what that little change that, um, you know, everybody or the, whatever it is, um, that's, you know, that's definitely what these, you know, it's two, six, seven days are going to be um, going into uh, practice um, next, next Monday, Wednesday, Thursday. Um, so that's, that's definitely the big focus. And, um, you know, we're, we're built to do that. And like, yeah, and I guess to answer your question directly, LaFleur does uh, take into anything. Like if, you know, one of us has a good feeling about a player, if, if, you know, we think we can take advantage of something uh, out there, he definitely listens to us and, 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 and takes on any feedback from us um, very well. And uh, it's, it's, it's fun to play for a guy like that. That's wants to work with you and uh, do, do whatever it is that, um, you know, if I have a thing that I think will help make me successful, he'll definitely take it in consideration and try to work that in. Hey, Connor, obviously there's been so much expectation and attention on Zach. Um, I'm curious in your eyes, how you feel he's handled that expectation and how much does the team understand how much of a process this is for him? Obviously just being five games into his career. Every, everybody believes in him. You know, it, it's um, when you see kind of the throws he makes and, and the plays he is able to make, uh, you know that he has the makings to be uh, something, a, a, court, a really special quarterback. The way he can see a defense, um, the way he handles checks and cans and, and, and you know, the, the more complicated like pre-snap stuff uh, is phenomenal. He sees the defenses really well. Uh, he, he, he is a phenomenal talent, uh, arm talent, um, and you can just see his confidence grow every week. Uh, and and the, the, the coolest thing I think about Zach is, you know, he doesn't let anything affect his confidence. He's, he's a very confident individual and, and nothing's going to break that confidence. And uh, in my career, you know, I've seen um, guys, <laughs> young quarterbacks get their confidence rocked and never come back. And, uh, you know, doesn't matter, good play, bad play, whatever it is, Zach is, you know, extremely confident. He knows he can go out and make the plays that are required to, to win the football game. So, um, you know, I think um, the Jets as an organization and fan base can, you know, every week expect bigger and better things from Zach and, and a guy that's going to be around for a long time making spectacular plays. We'll take a few more for Connor. Connor, on another, um, another rookie. What what kind of growth have you seen from Elijah Vera Tucker playing next to you? You know, going back from one of the first times I got asked about him in an interview, you know, he's a phenomenal player. Um, the amount of talent he has is 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 remarkable. And, you know, he's again, he's getting he's settling in. He's feeling comfortable. Uh, it's hard for a rookie to come into the NFL um, and play start as a rookie. Um, you know, I, I didn't even get to wear pads my rookie year. So um, for a guy to come in and, and play the way he's playing and the growth he shows every game, um, it, an, another guy that, um, you know, is going to be around for a long time and have a phenomenal career. Um, this draft class has been a really, really good draft class. They're all good people. Um, they're all good locker room guys and, and they're all really good football players. So um, the growth I've seen out of AVT has been awesome, you know, from the first time, um, we kind of did like an 11 on 11 period. I knew he was going to be a good player. Um, and he just keeps growing and, and, and just, and just being comfortable, 
um, in the NFL and figuring out, you know, um, that you don't need to do too much. You, you just right, right where he, he's really truly figured out where, how much he needs to do on every play to be successful. And, um, you know, some rookies come in and they, they, they don't do enough or they do too much. And, and it just takes a second and, and not even rookies. I mean, I was the same way when I got my first starts um, and I was a second year player. Um, you're just, you're just not quite comfortable yet. And, and it, it takes some games to get settled in. And um, he's really starting to settle in and, and play some really, really good football.